Hello viewers, welcome back again to today's discussion. Your teacher is Roger Michira, ready to take you through the early lives of Kenyan leaders. And today we get to, to, we get to look at the political life of Daniel Trotich Arap Moy. And we get to know that Daniel Trotich Arap Moy was our second president. Now, we have looked at his earlier life, right? When he was born, right? Where he was born, his, uh, his, his education life, right his involvement in in the early lives right we saw him rejecting the, the letter to alliance high school right he did not join a gideon to rose to alliance high school but again he opted to go to capsapet ttc now moi was a trained teacher right now in today's class we get to look at his political career what are some of the, his involvements in the kenyan politics right and also as an uh, as an african nationalist right now class in today's class, we expect that we're able to outline the political career of Daniel Torotich Arap Moy. So we'll need to give a detailed political career of Daniel Arap Moy. Now, straight to our discussion. Now, in 1957, Moy beat uh, his challengers, uh, for example, John Ole Tanome and Justice Ole Tipis, to win the Rift Valley seat. That is, immediately, remember in 1955, he was elected as a he was chosen as a representative from uh, Rift Valley, right? Now, in the year 1957, he beat his challengers, his opponents, right? The Tanome, Toko Voletipis, to win the Rift Valley seat. Moi formed the Baringo uh, District Independent Party, the BDIP, right? The Baringo District Independent Party, BDIP, Right? That is after he was elected as a leader of the Rift Valley seat. Now, the AMO, the African Elected Members Organization, formed a multiracial group. Right? So the constituents elected members of organ organs, that is CEMO, comprised of one European, the three Asians, and Masinde Muliro, Dr. Julius Kiuna, Oginga Odinga, and Moi as the African representatives. Now, these were the representatives of SEMO, right? So we had Masinde Muliro from Western, Julius Kiuna, we had Ogingo Odinga from Nyanza, we had uh, Moi, Arap, uh, Moi, to teach Arab Moi as the African representatives. So Moi was from uh, Central, uh, sorry, Moi was from Rift Valley Province. Now, the first Lancaster House Conference in London was held whereby Ngala, Moi, and Odinga agreed to form a single party, right? So that's the first house conference whereby Ngala, Moi, and Ogingo Odinga agreed to form a single party. Now, they are there, right? You can get to see from left, we have got, um, we have, um, that is Jaramongi Ogingo Odinga, right? We have uh, Leonard Ngala, we can get to see a European there. We can get to see Jomo, Ke, Jomo Kenyatta. We can also get to see Moi. We can also get to see Tom Boyer, right? Now, that is during the first house conference, which was held in London, whereby they agreed to form a single party. Now, Daniel Arap Moi was named the Minister of Home Affairs in the Jamhuri Cabinet of 1964. So after Kenya gained independence, right? Now, um, Moi was named as the Minister of Home Affairs, replacing Ogingo Odinga, who became the Vice President and Minister Without Portfolio, right? So this, the, the, this issue of uh, Minister Without Portfolio, it is not some, it's not something that we, we, we just saw recently. When, uh, when, um, when uh, Kenyatta was, uh, when, when uh, Kenyatta was appointing ministers recently, right? Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta was appointing ministers. Remember, he, he, he appointed uh, Rafael Tuju as a minister without portfolio. Also, Oginga Odinga was the vice president and also a minister without portfolio. Now, Daniel Moy, Daniel Moy was named the minister of home affairs. We, we have already looked at that. Then we can get to realize that also we can get to see that uh, Moy there as the minister of home affairs and Tom Boyer as the vice president and minister without portfolio. Now also, Moi was elected as one of the eight vice presidents in 1967, right? That is when, uh, when, uh, when, um, when Oginga Odinga resigned. Remember, he resigned from government, right? He opted to resign from government when Moi also, Moi then was elected as the vice president. You can get to see that. 
Moi seated next to the president, Jomo Kenyatta, right? And also in the year August 22nd, 1978, when President uh, Kenyatta, Jomo Kenyatta passed away, right? Moi resumed the office acting as the president. He was later elected as the second president. Remember, immediately after, immediately when the president dies, right? The vice president takes over for 60 days. Then they call for elections. But the same thing happened, right? When Jomo Kenyatta was announced dead in, uh, in, um, in Mombasa, immediately President, uh, Vice President Moi took the presidency. Then he, he acted as a president for 60 days. Then later he was elected as the second president. We can get to see Moi there, him being sworn in, right, as the president immediately after the demise of Jomo Kenyatta. Then also, Moi is well known for his Nyayo philosophy, right? The issue of peace, love, and unity, right? Moi was well known of his uh, Nyayo philosophy. Now, during the Nyayo philosophy, it led to uh, numerous contributions in the social projects where social projects were started in the community, in the society. For example, we had the, nya the Nyayo milk, right? We, we, we know of the Nyayo milk, whereby he could give milk to the ch uh, school going children just to keep them in school, right? So talk, talk, of, um, talk of the Nyayo wards, right? Nyayo wards and the district hospitals, right? For example, you can get to see that. He's opening a school, the, the, the Nyayo wards, right? He's opening the, the Nyayo wards. Talk of the, 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 the Nyayo milk also, well known for the school ch going children, right? Talk of rec recreational facilities. We have the Nyayo stadium, right? We have the, the Moi teaching and referral hospital. Talk of schools, right? We have got Moi school capsabet. Right, we have more university, right? More girls, senior. All those schools, they were, they were, they, 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 they were, they were, they were in place for the courtesy of uh, the Nyayo philosophy. Now, the Nyayo philosophy is just a philosophy to ensure that the the the, the, the community benefits from the social projects. Talk of the roads. Talk of uh, eradicating hunger. Talk of um, good health. For example, the more teaching and referral hospital. Talk of education. Right, the more university. Right, Moi High School, Kabarak, all those, those were in, in courtesy of um, the second president who was Daniel Arap Moi. Now we have basically looked at the political life of Daniel Moi. Can I get to answer this question? Name some of the social facilities that were as a result of the Nyayo philosophy. We have talked of the, of the teaching, Moi teaching and far hospital. We have talked of the, Nya, the, the, the Nyayo, Nyayo wards, right? We have talked of the schools. What are some of those other facilities that was a result of the Nyayo philosophy. And for a reference, get to refer to Evolving World, History and Government, Form 3, Oxford University Press. And as always, get in touch with us, contact us via our contact address on Facebook, our SMS line, YouTube, and also Twitter. Thank you so much. This is Elimu TV, your favorite learning channel.